Assalamu alaikum dear friends Today in 2020 I am here to explain and telling that how to solve that type of problem in which we will show that expectation of S square does not equal to sigma square where S square is already given so that uh, problem is very very easy I will uh, I will tell you the secret method to solve that so must watch this lecture complete it in length and don't skip any step because each step of that lecture is very very important I have already uploaded chapter number 15 theory and uh, problems you can watch play you can visit play, playlist so let's start the lecture so we are given here taking all possible samples of size 2 so here size 2 which is noted by a small n is already given that's here you have to do that by with replacement and next from a finite population so here capital length which is finite population already given 3 5 2 so capital n will be 1 2 3 so number of values are 3 you don't know that the formula of with replacement is the number of samples the number of samples in with replacement capital n raised to power small n put the values here 3 raised to power 2 that will be 3 is the mind that clear next condition next condition will do that first condition is put 9 divided by capital n always 9 divided by capital 3 3 is the 9 that's clear and second condition is here 3 divided by again capital Y 3 divided by 3 will be 1 so 3 1 I already told you told that 3 and 1 shows that repetition 3 and 1 shows repetition must remember so very simple I already told you that first of all you have to make the samples so right here samples which is x1, x2 that's clear and next step will be here x bar which is mean summation x over small n that's clear and next will be s square here given s square is summation x by iota minus x bar divided by n because they have two samples x1 and x2 so s square will be very simple x1 minus x bar completing square plus x2 minus x bar completing square divided by n because they are two samples x1 and x2 very very simple step and next step and next step is very very simple samples 3 show and here values are 3 5 2 you have to repeat each value in 3 times you know that that is a times repetition all right here 3 1 2 3 that's here and next step will be here 5 3 times repetition that's here 1 2 and 3 and next last here 1 2 and 3 and that's here that's here 3 times repetition and next step will be here commas I will put here and next next will be here 1 time one tab addition shows as here will be 3, 5, 2. That's here. 3, 5, 2. 3, 5, 2. So that's the 3 times repetition. 3, 5, 2. And that's the one time repetition. So that is the sample x1. And that's all the sample of x2. That's here. Next step. Next step we have to calculate submission x over n. That's very, very simple. You can easily calculate 3 plus 3. Very simple. 3 plus 3 will be 6. 6 divided by 2 will be 2. 3 is a 6. That's clear. Very simple step. Next, 5 plus 3. 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 for the 8 will be 4. That's clear. Next step. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 divided by 2. Check here. 5 divided by 2. We get the value here. 2.5. Right here. 2.5. Five. That's simple. They can do it himself. But in this step, five plus three eight. Two four the eight. They will be four. Five plus five ten. Two five the ten. 
Next we have 5 plus 2 7. 7 divided by 2, we get the value here 3.5. Right here, 3.5. That's simple. Next step. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 divided by 2, you already know that it is 2.5. And next step. And next step will be here. 5 plus 2, 7 over 2. 5 plus 2, 7 over 2 will be 3.5. Just like before. And next step, 2 plus 2, 4. 2, uh, 2 minus 2, 2 is a 4. Here will be 2. So I have calculated here x bar. And similarly, you can easily calculate x square. Put the value here. x1 is 3. 3 minus 3 minus x bar is 3. 3. 3 minus 3. That's clear. 3 minus 3 community scale will be 0. Plus x2. x2 is 3. 3 minus 3 community scale divided by n. And the sample size is here 2. So put the value here 0 divided by 2 shall be 0. That's simple. That's simply calculated. And next step. Next step is easy calculate. You can do it in cell 3. 3 x1 minus x bar is 4. Complete is here. Plus next step x2. x2 is given here 5. I will put here 5 minus uh, next 5, 5 minus 4. Complete is here divided by size is 2. Now easily calculate the value. 3 minus 4 will be minus 1. Minus 1 minus will be plus 1. Complete is here. Plus 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 complete is here. 1 divided by 2. 1 plus 2 to cancellation will be 1. So SK will be here. 1 exactly. Next, similarly, you can do it itself. I am capturing here 3 minus, writing here values here, bracket 3 minus 2 point, 3 minus 2.5, uh, bracket completely square, plus bracket x2, x2 is here 2. 2 minus 2.5 completing square that's clear answer then divided by small n which is 2 we get the value here 0 0.25 I write the value here 0 0.25 that's clear next step 5 bracket 5 minus x bar 4 completing square plus bracket Next step will be here 3. 3 minus 4. 3 minus 4. Uh, bracket close. Complete is here. Answer. Then divided by 2. We get the value here 1. That's clear. And then similarly 5. Bracket close. 5 minus 5 minus 5. Complete is here will be 0. Plus 5 minus 5. Completing scale will be 0. 0 over 2 will be 0. Put the value here. 0. Next step. 5. Bracket. 5 minus 3.5. 5 minus 3.5. Completing scale plus bracket. 2 minus 2 minus 3.5. 2 minus 3.5. Completing scale. Answer. Then divided by 2. We get the value here 2.25. 2.25 exactly. And next, last three values remaining here 2 bracket 2 minus 2.5 completing square plus bracket 3 minus 2.5 completing square. Answer then, uh, sorry, uh, I declare here bracket again. 2 minus 0 0.5 divided by 2, we get the value here 0 0.25. Again, that value is 0 0.25. That's here. And next step is here 2. Bracket 2 minus 2.5 completely square plus bracket 5 minus 3.5 completely square. Answer. Then divided by uh, then divided by two, we get the value here 1.25. 1.25 and last value is here 2 minus 2, 0 plus 2 minus 0, 2 will be 0. So I have calculated here SK. So I hope that you have clear concepts in that how can you cal how can you calculate the mean and SK. Next step. Now moving my next point, main point.
we have to show that which is the main part of the lecture expectation of x square does not equal to x square so first of all you have to calculate expectation of x square now moving my next and main point So here, you first of all, you have to calculate expectation of x square. You can easily calculate that value. You have to make the sampling distribution of x square. So for that, you have to make the sampling distribution of sampling distribution of x square. You can easily calculate here. Just value put here x square right here daily very easy step next i will do frequency next i will be here for uh, you can easily calculate probability of x square which is equal to f over summation f and next i will last i will be here x square probability of x square which is the main part of the lecture you can easily calculate so for the value x k values are repetition values where i will write the here fixed values similarly you write here 0 0 0.25 next 1 and next i will here 2.2 uh, 2.25 and last step here 2.25 so that's the x k values are given here now you have to calculate tally tally very simple 0 0 repeats here 1 2 3 times right here 1 2 3 to put the value here 3 and next 0 0.25 0 per time repeat here 1 2 2 times repeat right here 1 2 and 2 next step done 1 repeats here 1 2 2 times repeat right here 1 2 put the value here 2 1.25 1 1.25 Repeats here one time, right here one, and it will be one. Next, I have 2.25. 2.25 repeats here. Uh, 2.25 repeats here just one time, right here one, that will be one. So, for the submission F will be 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus, uh, 3 plus 2 will be 5. 5 plus 4, 5 plus 4. 5, uh, 3 plus 2, 5. Uh, 4, 5 plus, uh, 5 plus 2 will be 7, 8, 9. So submission app is here 9, you can easily calculate probability of s here 3 over 9, 2 over 9 because as it is a submission app, 2 over 9, 1 over 9, 1 over 9. Right here submission probability of s here, which is equal to 9 over 9 will be 1 because the sum of probability always is Now last step is here s here probability of s, you already know that expectation of x here is equal to S square probability of x square must remember. Expression of x square is equal to S square probability of x square. Sorry. So we can easily calculate, put the value here, submission. You can easily calculate the value S square probability of x square. We have to multiply S square and probability of x square. 0 multiplied by this will be 0. Next step 0 by 2, 5 multiplied by 2. 0 point, uh, 0 0.25. Multiply by 2, we get the value here 0 0.5 divided by 9. Next, 2 multiply by 1 will be 2, 2 over 9, and next 1.25 multiply by 1 will be 1.25 over 9, and, and 2.25 multiply by 1 will be 2.25 over 9. So, put the adding value here is submission S square probability of S square probability of S square which is equal to expectation of x square which is equal to expectation of x square you have to calculate the values here easily calculate 0 0.5 adding that values plus 2 plus 1.25 plus 2.25 you get the value here 6 All right here 6 6 over 9 so values here 6 over 6 uh, write the value here 6 over 9 that's calculate the values here now next step will be here 
you can uh, you can you can calculate the head value maybe that's true or false you can check that value next step last step we here you have to calculate sigma square now you have to calculate expression of x square is 6 over 9 now next last step is here you have to calculate sigma square next step Now you have to calculate sigma square. Very simple, you can easily calculate. You already know that sigma square is equal to smission capital X square over capital N minus smission X over capital N completing square. You can easily calculate this value. X is that is given here 352. So put the value here X 352 and put X square right here. 3 square 9, 5 square 25, 2 square 4. Here will be smission x, here will be smission x square. Here will be smission x will be 5 plus 3, 8. Uh, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 10. And next step is here 29 plus 9. Uh, we can just calculate 9 plus 25 plus 4. We get the value here 38. So put the values, all values in here, submission x square. So submission x square is in here, uh, 38 divided by capital N is already, uh, capital N is 1, 2, 3. So put the value here, 3 minus submission capital X is 10, 10 divided by 3. So put the value here, completing square. Now we easily calculate, 38 divided by 3, we get the value here, 12.66 up to so on. And next step will be here 10 divided by 3. 10 divided by 3. We get the value 3.333. 3.333. And next, completing square. Now put the value here. Answer completing square. We get the value 11. Point something. We can write here 12.666 minus 11.111. Minus 12 minus 666 minus 11.111. We get the value here 1.55. So get the value here 1.55. That's calculated values. You can easily calculate it. And next step is here given here 6 over 9. So expectation of x here does not equal to sigma square because that value is 6 over 9 and that value is 1.5 that people so i hope that you have clear concepts in that if you have uh, if i have, uh, I have uh, any mistake you can you can tell me in the comment section thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel and must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture goodbye